Hi everyone, doing a quick uh, Nando opening, um, box opening. This was uh, an order that I did for an in stock Nando that I plan to customize. Um, and I really need to get on that because I have a lot of Nando ideas that I'd like to do for characters I just haven't created, but I wanted to use this one that I saw as a base for one. So I'm just open it up. So this is very quick. I um, haven't really gotten too many in stock Nando's and um, Oh, that's a little disappointing. So they put the brown paper in. They didn't wrap it around like they usually do. And they sent me this uh, Nendo, and there was supposed to be a free sticker with it. They put the free sticker on, but they kind of bent it around the box, so it's kind of bent. I'm sure I can flatten it out. Um, it is Black Rock Shooter, and it says, Good Smile Company, and thank you for 20 years. So it's a nice, decent-sized sticker. There's the image, but it's kind of bent. All they had to do was put it flat on top of the Nendo box, and it would have been fine. Oh, well. I'm sure I can flatten it. Um, so, anyway, this was an in-stock. I haven't really gotten too many in-stock ones from them, so I was very pleased with the shipping and processing time. So, the Nendo I got was $12.91 Purple Heart. Um, I don't know what series she's from, but I don't... I'm going to uh, change up her look to make her into a different character. So I just wanna open her up really quick and take a look at her parts. Hold on just a second. Okay, continuing on. Uh, just open this up really quick. The character that I want to uh, change her into is actually a Digimon. So here's her um, booklet. And the Digimon that I want to make her into is Kazemon. She's from season three. Uh, she's also referred to as um, Fairymon. That's the Japanese version. Changed it to Kazemon for. Um, oh, I don't know. So this is an in stock Nindroid. I don't know how old she is, but there's a little bug in here. Let's see if I can drop that out of there. Yeah, old dead bug. Sure, it hasn't done anything. It doesn't look like it ate the box or anything. You know how there's some moths or whatever that you cloth or whatever. That's whatever. It's fine. <laughs> so here she is. Um, she has just two face plates, a pair of wings, um, two arms, um, one spare leg, and then her stand. And then also some type of sword of some sort. Um, so she's newer because she's over a thousand. I don't know where they're at right now, but she must have been a relatively less expensive one. Maybe because it seems to me most of the newer androids have three face, three face plates. So I don't know. That's kind of strange. All right. So taking her up out of the packaging. Um, she has bubble wrap at the top of her head. One big piece of plastic wrapped around her entire body and then um, <laughs> I always find it entertaining to see where they decide to put the plastic for the protection of the joints so her little she has twin braids they had a piece of plastic between each braid apparently which is funny and actually it looks like these braids are on a joint, so you can kind of move them into different positions. That's kind of different. Posable hair. Not many androids have that. Or if they do, I don't have any of them. All right, let's see if I can get this one off of here. Um, that's funny. I know some of the, you know, one of the things that used, we used to be able to say was to help us make sure the um, android was uh, legit was the little smiley face on the joint and it's there on her hair joint <laughs> i just find that a little funny um all right let me plug her hair back in and then it looks like she has the one around the neck which i um like between the neck and the body but it's cool because they have a split in it so all you have to do is kind of peel it back you don't actually have to take your nendo apart um, but she still does have the face guard, which looks like, oh, nope, I just had to kind of wiggle it free. I didn't actually have to take her hair apart. So, there you go. 
she is free and there she is i think she's really kind of cute so um let me see if i can put her wings on really quick so there is her her wings um which are like pink with like little white lines you can see that they're actually kind of opaque which is kind of neat the light shines through them um but the curious thing is is that they don't actually connect to her directly um, unless you put her stand on her because there's just a hole for the stand to go through um, so there's no way you wouldn't really be able to display her with her wings um, unless you had her on the stand I'm actually thinking what if if you wanted to use, I don't know, she's probably top heavy where she wouldn't be able to stand without a stand, but if you use like an easel or something, then the easel would just hold her up. Um, but I'm wondering if like the neck peg joint could maybe hold it in if you were just taking pictures of her from the front. Um, so that's kind of curious. Yeah, not a lot of accessories here. So she has one kind of serious face on and then one smiling face. She has like blue eyes with purple eyebrows, um, which I think will be pretty good for um, Kazuma. Now these little button hair things, I was wondering if they would come off or if I might have to like pry them off because Kazuma does not have button hair things and her hair is definitely a single hair thing instead of one. So if I try to mod this, I don't know, it might be interesting. But it's the right color. Maybe I'll just leave her with two hair things and she'll be kind of slightly different. Um, but the hair is definitely the right style. The, the face plates are pretty good and the wings are not 100% perfect because Fairymon or Kazemon has more like butterfly wings that are translucent. Um, but I could probably um, just kind of repaint these just a little bit to make them look more like that. Um, she's really cute. And she's just called Purple Heart. I don't really know what series she's from, um, but I like her. I would definitely put her smiling face on over her more serious face. So let's see how easy she is to slide apart here. So the hair comes apart at about the midway point, but it's kind of interesting. The top part comes to a peak here, or I should say the back part does. Um, that's a little different. So there's her non-smiling face, her serious face. And then let's see. Put her a little bit more happy face in there and put the hair back on I can there we go nice tight fit and there's her little smiling face she's kind of like looking off to the side um, her legs are just one solid thing there's no knee joint um, same with her arms just no elbow joint um, the other pair of hands is like the grippy hands to hold her weapon. So it's just a different hand shape. The hands come off. I wonder why they would have even given separate arms. They're slightly bent, I guess, probably to actually achieve the holding stance. Um, so they look like they have elbows, but they're not, you know, bent or anything. They're not bendable. And then she has one... Um, spare leg, which the joint on this is bizarre. Look at that. I don't know if that's a mistake or what. It's like a flat triangle, not their usual peg shape. That's really weird. Um, it's supposed to be her, I guess this would be her left leg. Let's see how the other one looks. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, this is just a regular ball peg. I don't, I don't get this. This is, this has to be an error. I would just probably take this out and, and pop it onto the other ball. Let's see, because there's the ball to connect her leg. There's no way this is going in there. Let's see if I can get this out. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it does. Oh, there we go. Just pops off. And then 
just pops on there. So there you go. Now she has kind of that bent leg look. But this is not a usable joint. It's like a flat little triangle. I don't get that at all. Maybe it's just to hold the leg in the container. Anyway, I think she's super cute. And she might have been a little bit less expensive than some of the other Nendos because she doesn't have as many accessories, but I don't know. I'm going to use her to customize her, so I'm okay with it being a little less expensive. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.